Yo, are you an upcoming streamer or a streamer in general that wants to stream on Twitch using your Mac computer? Well, Twitch Studio is here for you. So I'm going to show you how to set up Twitch Studio on Mac West Monterey in 2022. Let's hop into the video. What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creating TV. Yes, so it's been about two years since Twitch Studio has came out on Mac and PC. But right now, Twitch Studio is still in beta, but I'm going to show you how to set it up, if it's worth it, how well does it run on Mac OS devices, and should you be using it in 2022. So what you want to do first, you want to make sure you go to Twitch Studio and download it for your Mac OS device. Once you have it downloaded, make sure you go ahead and sign in to your Twitch account. You want to pull up the Twitch specs, which you should be running at. So some odd reason right now on the Mac computer side right now, uh, when you enable 1080 60 FPS or 1080 30 FPS, you start to get a lot of laggy or choppiness using Twitch Studio. I don't know why. And just to let you know, here's the preferred bit rates. So you can see, you can pause the video if you like. So what you're streaming at, 720 and 720 30 or 720 60 works sufficient. Here you go. So here is your Twitch Studio layout right now. The version that you should be on is 0.109.9. It's still in beta. This is for Mac OS Monterey. So here's the quick layout as what you get. You'll see your session, your viewers, your CPU usage, and everything else. But once you enable 1080p, your CPU starts to use a lot of your CPU. I don't know why, but I'm trying to figure that out still. Um, you can click over here and just let you know the new updates of what they brought to Twitch Studio. But going over your layout, you know, here's your stream info where you want to update your titles, your tags, information like that. Quick actions. Quick actions are stuff like if you're streaming in, you want to follow or only chat, you want to rate a channel, you know, email only, clear chat, and then you can add the other stuff. So if you want to click on this little plus icon, that lets you show what other quick actions you can add. To Twitch Studio, it's not many, but these are the ones that they have right so far that you can add. Next to that, you have your scenes. Your scenes is where you're gonna be having your actual gameplay and everything else starting it up. So you know, starting soon scene. They have everything built into the app. You know, you can also, if you're using this, you can draw and have like a draw and stream if you want. That's this right here. Enable draw mode where you be able to draw. You got your activity feed where you know you get your followers your hosts and the, you know, all your alerts that come in. Your chat is right up under there where you can change the settings to that. You can edit each scene. You can start streaming and this little up arrow right here allows you to start recording. So down here is your camera icon for your webcam when you add that in. You got your audio mixer down here at the bottom right next to that. The preferred microphone that you're using to stream with that's connected to your computer. You got your desktop audio that's right here. And which is good. So if you're playing a little background music or a little music stuff like that, you'll hear that launch play right here. So in the settings, you know, you can set up how you want it, light mode, dark mode, or stream quality. So when you run, when you first set up, it's gonna have you go through the steps of setting up your stream. 1080p 30 through 60 FPS is kind of laggy and very buggy. So you have to set it to 720 by 60 or 30, which sucks. So right now, here's some settings right here. You can copy you want to do X264. So when you get right here, I did mention I said you want to use X.264. When you open this up and you click on it, you'll see video toolbox. I don't know what this is. I've been doing research on it. So if anybody knows, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section and let me know what it's for. But I have tried this. So you will see one gameplay of me using Fall Guys trying this and seeing how it works. I tried to do research on it and trying to find what it is. But technically right now, I cannot find nothing. So just set yours to x.264. Let's get back to the video. You want to make sure you set your presets to accordingly to your Mac. To so me, I've just been testing out uh, very fast. Basically, let you know. It tells you what it says right there. It says slower pre uh, presets will offer better quality at lower bit rates, but cost significantly more CPUs. So, the lower you put it, it uses more of your CPU. The faster you put it, less. It. So, I'm testing it out right now at very fast um, tuning. You want to put zero latency. You want to enable disconnect protection just in case you get disconnected. It allows you to tell you you got 90 seconds to troubleshoot and get reconnected. The audio, what your microphone and everything else is set up to and how you want it. Add in-game overlays or import your own, which they did add. The way you add scenes, you want to add down here where it says 
and you click the little plus icon where it says add the scene you click on that that gives you all the scenes and templates that you can add right now or you can import your own if you have your own so you got a blank you got your gameplay be right back chatting and starting soon so all you do is just click on one click add you should be able to edit it like your gameplay you can edit if you want to edit and see what's on there here's how you look like so your gameplay right now i have it set for just alerts to pop up webcam will be over here in the corner the game capture the capture card that you are using right so this is the gameplay scene keep it keep in mind if you plug your headset to the controller the computer audio will stop and your chat will not be able to hear you. So what you have to do is plug your headset into your computer and listen to your audio that way. That's really about it. So after you edit your scenes, you can add layers. You know, these are all the layers that you can add to your gameplay or whatever scene that you want to add, you know, browser source, countdown timer, so like you just add, go through it, set it up the way how you want it. And they'll pop up over here on the right hand side where you can add stuff and change. And once you finish, make sure you hit save so it saves how your scene is so then from there you're ready to go and go live and start streaming now keep in mind remember i told you i'm using my cpu that's because because i'm screen recording right now so it's going to use a lot of cpu power just to run this without it you should be fine at 720 without screen recording and everything else you can stream and record at the same time so if you want to record just set your video path and you can start recording so now i'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay of how this stuff runs I'm playing two games i'm gonna try fall guys for one i'm recording and then i'm gonna try fortnite at the end so yes right now i am live doing the test twitch studio beta on mac os monterey this is me recording and streaming at the same time at 720 60 fps Okay, so right now I am streaming on Twitch Studio Beta using Mac OS, and you can see this is using 720 60fps using the video toolbox, and this is how it works on Mac OS Monterey. So this is live stream and recorded at the same time. Let me know what the quality is. How do you guys think? So if you're in here right now, you can see yourself. Shout out to you. Now in this recording session. You can see I have this set to 1080, 60 FPS. Hey, Dude. Well, you thought you were running to me. Yes, buddy. that so as you can see how much is lagging look at my cpus being overloaded 12 fps 
65 slow frames. So yeah, it's lagging at 1080 60 FPS using the Xbox 264 software. So my final thoughts. It has been about a couple days since I have shot this video. And I want to say that Twitch Studio does run okay at 720, 60 FPS, and 30 FPS. When I ran 1080p, 30 or 60 FPS, it became very laggy and buggy. It's probably it's probably because I was using my Mac a lot, doing a lot of screen recordings and you know overloading the CPU. So I might have to do some further testing just to give a follow-up update. But right now I'm still trying to figure out what the video toolbox is. So I did see in the video I was trying that out with Fall Guys, and then the second part of the video I did 1080p uh X.264 software with Fortnite. So I can say you can just give it a shot, try it out, see which one is better for you. I am going to come out soon with a follow-up video of once I figure out what the video toolbox is for and how it really runs. But 1080p runs okay uh, sufficiently when you're you know streaming. Sometimes it just it just all depends on the other thing. You know, Macs are very difficult, but I will still say try to use a uh, 720 or 72030 or 60fps. 1080p was very laggy or buggy. Now, when I was streaming and recording at the same time, it ran sufficient for a while, but then it started to get very buggy and like so. But if you want to just do recording on it, it does do good for recording at 1080p. And that that was excellent. Now, streaming, when I did both of those at 1080p or 720, uh, they were okay some, for somewhat. It just all depends on your internet upload speed. But me, I was pushing my computer to the max, so I know I was overloading my CPU. But let me know in the comment section what will you be using Twitch Studio on Mac? Um if, any other updates that you want to see about Twitch Studio, I will figure out what the video toolbox is and the perfect settings if you want to use Twitch Studio and run it on your Mac. But everything else was sufficient. Um, let me know which one would you rather use, Twitch Studio? Hey, are you still using the Elgato HD uh, game capture software? Are you using OBS, Streamlabs OBS? Hey, maybe you're even using your console. Leave it down in the comment section below which one you prefer to use. And I'll catch you guys in my next upload. Take care, everybody. God bless. It's your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV, and I'm signing out of here. Peace.